guys, it's Ruben again, and in today's video, which is the second one for the BSPP, I'm going to be introducing you a bit about the background of the project that I worked on at the Jung Centre during my internship. You may have heard that there's a huge problematic regarding kiwi fruit production due to the presence of a pathogen known as Pseudomonas syringi, which is destroying the vines of the, of the fruit in New Zealand, hindering the production and therefore causing them millions of losses every year. So the outbreak started in 2010 when the pathogen arrived from Southeast of Asia and since then it has evolved and more precisely the biobar in which we focused, which is called PSA, um, has developed resistance against two of the few antimicrobials that were left, which are streptomycin and copper. This has left the farmers without any resources to tackle the pathogen so um, we focus on this situation uh, for the project. From a microbiological perspective, uh, Pseudomonas so syringi is a gram-negative bacteria that belongs to the phylum Protobacteria and it infects the plants along a two-step process, first lying on the leaf surface, releasing phytotoxins such as coronatin or virulence factors such as type 3 secretion systems, opening the bruises or estomata from which it penetrates inside the leaves and then it replicates in the upper blasts. After that it distributes along the plant and after a few days it starts to cause a disease known as kiwi fruit canker whose most important uh, macroscopical symptoms are the presence of brownish and yellowish spots in the leaves caused by necrosis, leaf wilting, fruit collapse and a red rusty exudate in the stem. At the moment there are a few strategies against PSA that are being tested. Some of them are based on fakes, but our strategy which is based on biological control agents or BCAs that were isolated from the same kiwi fruit vines, we think that it's more convenient given that these bacteria are already adapted to the plant and the addition won't harm the environment. So it would be more sustain sustainable and environmentally friendly. So we hope that some of these biological control agents will um, inhibit the pathogen by the release of natural products such as antibiotics or bacteriosins that they may compete for the resources that are very few on the leaf surface or by activating the immune response of the plant. So that was basically it and in the next videos I'm going to be addressing some of the experiments that we performed. So see you all there. Bye.